What's up, my clickers? It's B2, and I'm here to talk about ascensions, uh, tips and strategies for ascensions, and to gain levels, to gain hero souls. It's what the game is about. It's about getting this stuff taken care of. So uh, let's talk about it. Um, I'm at my highest level. My auto progression farm mode is off because I was not able to complete the boss at 4,500. So let's take this off and I'll, and I'll give it a look and show you what I mean. Like you can see it's just chugging along down here. It's not really getting it. It's going to be for 6.3 Q on the transition, but I'm just not getting it. I'm going to I'm gonna hit my, my power up buttons. I'm going to try to give it some active clicks. And uh, you can just see I'm at the top, the top end of my damage. I am not going to progress. It's just I can click away, click away. Um, I'd have to wait for all these to get on cooldown. I'd pro probably be able to do that, but it's more important at this point to not try to push a high level than it is to ascend and start to climb over again. Now, before we do that, I want to show you some things that are pretty important on here. So if you notice that I saved 118Q, but I can ascend for 485Q, that would mean... I would have a whopping, what is that, 585 plus 18? I'd be, I'd be over 600Q um, for Hero Souls to place into things. But I found kind of this works for me, and everybody plays the game differently, right? So uh, it's how you want to do this and, and progress. It's up to you. But I kind of have this method where after I get some Hero Souls accumulated, I go through an ascension where I do not use them, and I let them stack on the top row here. And so then I create this little leapfrog system where I'm going to then use these 118 but I'm going to have 485 in the box up here for damage. So um, some people, even uh, in our clan, we, we debate back and forth in our messages about, you know, hey, you should put those in more ghoulis instead of letting them go to waste. Um, and I would look at it differently. I would, If I was going to spend them, I would spend them for damage or I'd spend them for Solomon or Argaia for gilded damage. Like there's just a lot that I would do in there. Um, and so like I just I just chose to do it differently and, and to uh, and to use them in a different manner. No big deal. Everybody enjoys the game their way, right? So that's what I love about our clan is that we're just all about getting things done. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to go in here and take a look at spending these. I, I updated Solomon last time. I mean he's at 8 point well, – he's at 8 million up, updates. Uh, quite a bit. <clears throat> now, uh, one thing is that I need Suchi here. The next guy down, he's at 499. I'm at only at 401 on gold accumulated. So I can just take a look here and say, you know what? I'm going to just put everything into Mammon. And I'm going to get my gold dropped up. It's going to allow me to progress faster, buy more heroes faster. But I really don't need that because I don't. I don't active click as far as um, um, at my mouse click 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 click. I just don't do that. I I, I kind of leave it um, set it to go and, and walk away from it for hours. And I'll show you what I mean by then. I could be playing Heroes and Generals, League of Legends. I could be working on my tiny rails, playing some Summoners War. Uh, d there's a ton of other things and games I could be playing than sitting at clicking on this mode, right? I think we could all agree with that. So uh, I could load him into Juggernaut and get the active DPS per click. Look how low he is. He's only at one million. Um, I could buy all these guys and try to get down. Uh, I've, I've moved Kuma down to where it's only six needed for the next level. I don't know if it would come up, but um, it's not going to show because it's going to go to a boss. But that's pretty cool. And so I, I also use my relics. I'll have Kuma Wakamaru on there. Uh, I think it's the quickest way to progress in your game personally. Um, unless you're going for damage, then you obviously want to have your damage builds in there. But I think having only five or six mons to kill per level makes me... Um, it makes the game go quite a bit faster. So, all right, let's take a look at what we're going to spend on here. Um, our guy is at a hundred million. He's he's pretty. Uh, I mean, he's pretty boosted. So, I'm trying to finish my five minutes. So, I'm just getting the lowest guy use time on there. Um, okay, so our guy is boosted. Atman's at 52. Um, Dogcog is high up there. Fragsworth is at a mil. Uh, juggernaut. So let's, uh, you know, let's go and I would take 15 T to get Argive back up. Because uh, what's and here's why Argive is important is on Wepoet, I've got 129 billion percent damage increase on Wepoet right now. Um, much more than this DPS combo can get to um, is is that gilded damage. So and you know I don't know that for a fact. I'd have to look at the calculator, but. But I can just tell by upgrading. So um, I could do bail and get more critical hits out of there, so it would take more damage out as it. No, let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and upgrade bail. Look at look at how much we're spending to upgrade them. Um, now look look how fast that goes. Let's take a gamble on this and see. 
can we look at that <laughs> those critical hits went right through that level boss man so it's, it is important to take a look at your dps and boost that obviously we just kind of proved that point um but uh so now we only have 300 or 38,000 t left but i can look down and say you know let's let's go ahead and boost the gold production on mammon and let's go ahead and get Mimsy up one and still have 8T left or whatever. So uh, we're going to carry that over, and I'm going to go ahead and show you this ascension uh, just for the fact that I think we've proved our point on on how to progress anyway. Um, not proved a point like as in somebody challenged us, but just kind of showing you guys how I prefer to do that. So um, we're going to go ahead and take the ascension here, and uh, and then you'll see our, our leftovers plus the 485 that we had. And here's all I do, man. And the same thing for the other videos I show you guys. Um, I just scoot the automatic guys over there, put on Tree Beast. I don't even put the gilded damage on him anymore because it's not worth the time. But look, a 480, um, it maxed out Sid already. It maxed out Tree Beast. And really, that's all I need to do right there. I can come back in two hours and um, spend all my hero souls and click all the way down the rack and get all the bonuses or whatnot. But with Mammon up so high... You're going to be able to come down here and click Betty Click. I mean, all these mons that have 20% damage. Watch. So it's 20% boost there, 20% boost there, 20 there, 20 there. You get, you get what I'm saying. There's another boost up here by 25%. If you level all these guys out, and because Mammon's so high, we could probably get almost down to uh, um, King Midas here once the, the next treasure chest pops. We'll buy the upgrades. We'll wait on the treasure chest. See, there's one that just popped. And then we'll four times the gold increase because you get a 25 there, 25 there, 25 there, 25 or 50 there. So that's what 70, uh, 125 uh, boost there. And that's kind of, I mean, honestly, I can just hit it and walk away now. I can go uh, watch a YouTube clip, go downstairs, watch a movie on Netflix, d do whatever, and kind of walk away from the game. That's how I choose to play it. So everybody has their different, uh, their different ups and downs. So. Um, but that's on the ascension mode. Now, uh, how many times do you ascend before you transcend? And that number needs to be about 10-ish. Or if you're if you're able to get that next one really quick, just keep going. You don't have to stop at 10. But that's kind of a good level. And uh, and I'd say as far as the ancient souls go, um, you wanted to um, you want to get Pony Boy. This is just my personal opinion. Up in the 35 range, um, I took everything off of idle bonuses because I don't play idle. So. Um, the ancient cost I can reduce um, in uh, in in well, by the ancients, right? So dog cog is going to reduce the hiring and level up and everything. However, I will uh, I am going to put some into uh, Chorg probably. I don't know. Maybe we'll, I'll put one in there and see how it kind of shakes out. And if I need to transcend again to to respec, I will. But I might play around with him this time. Uh, most likely, will boost Borb up. Uh, Fandorus one, and then put like five or six into Borb. If I can, uh, if I can boost about 15 hero souls or ancient souls out of this ascension transcension. So, uh, anyway, you notice it uh, in the background. It's just clicking away still uh, with all that stuff. So I just usually go through and level these guys up like that, uh, all the way through one good time, and then uh, take off. So let's just go ahead and do that, and. I know some of you newer players are looking at this going, this guy's ridiculous, man, because uh, I can't get I can't get Frostleaf until like level 130 or something. And trust me, like it gets easier the more you do it, the more you ascend, the more you transcend, like, uh, and the more you use your dark rituals to get damage. Like it it, it all matters, and, and and just keep playing, keep plugging away at it, though. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll see you guys.